Good morning, everyone. This is Harlamos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at Iron FX, bringing you the morning comment for the 19th of uh, April. Yesterday, in a surprise uh, for the market's move, uh, British uh, Prime Minister Theresa May announced that she will seek an early election on June the 8th uh, in order to strengthen her hand going into the UK-EU divorce negotiations. Every vote for the Conservatives will make it harder for the opposition politicians who want to stop me from getting the job uh, done, she said in uh, her speech. However, in order to be able to hold uh, an election, the Prime Minister must uh, gather the support of two-thirds uh, majority in uh, the lower chamber of Parliament, the House of Commons. The vote is scheduled for today, and uh, with the Labour Party favouring a new election, May is very likely to get it through. The pound uh, tumbled a few minutes before May's speech on rumours that she will uh, call uh, for a snap election. Nevertheless, it rebounded uh, at the confirmation, raising all the rumour-related losses and gaining even more. This is a sell the rumour by the fact uh, market reaction and uh, reminded us uh, the 17th of January when Theresa May announced her negotiating plans. A couple of days ahead of the scheduled speech, Sterling fell on uh, leaks of her plans, and when May actually delivered, the currency surged. In our view, yesterday's rally may have been uh, fueled further by speculation that a new government may negotiate a softer Brexit process or even uh, cancel it altogether. However, based on the most recent opinion poll, uh, the Conservatives are in the driver's uh, seat which increases the likelihood for May to enter the negotiating process with a stronger mandate. GBPUSD searched on May's uh, call and continued to trade north uh, throughout the whole day. The rally was stopped by the 129 uh, level and then the rate immediately retreated to settle slightly below the 128.50 uh, key territory, which happens to be the upper bound of uh, the medium-term sideways range that uh, has been containing the price action since the 7th of uh, October between that area and the 121 uh, support zone. We prefer to wait for a clear close above the 128.50 uh, area before we get confident on larger upside ex ex extensions. Besides uh, the UK Parliament vote, uh, today we have Eurozone's final CPI for uh, March and uh, three speakers. Expectations for Eurozone CPI are for the final print to confirm the preliminary estimate, so we don't expect the market reaction in, in the euro to be. We, so we expect uh, the market reaction in the euro to be muted. As uh, for the speakers from the Fed, we have uh, Boston uh, Boston President Eric uh, Rosengren. Uh, from the ECB board uh, members Peter Pride and Ben Aguirre will uh, speak. Following the Reuters uh, report that uh, the market has overinterpreted the signals from the March ECB meeting, it will be interesting to hear from uh, them, especially ahead of uh, next week's uh, ECB policy gathering. Euro dollar traded higher yesterday, in breaking above the resistance now turned into support of 107 to stop slightly below 10740. Any comments from the aforementioned officials that the ECB is not planning to start reducing its uh, stimulus program anytime soon may bring the pair back below 107. As for the bigger picture, we believe that the outlook uh, remains neutral. The pair uh, remains below the downtrend line taken uh, from the peak of the 3rd of May, but uh, uh, also above uh, the upside support uh, line drawn from the low of the 3rd of uh, this January. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.